Hello, I'm Fox 21 News Chief Meteorologist Terry Gerbstedt, kind of keeping you updated on uh, the remnants of the storm that's moving through the area. Two things you need to keep in mind, it's very cold out there and most of the roads, especially the side streets, but uh, some of the main arterials also snow packed out there, so driving is a bit of a problem. We'll take a look at uh, the outside or what it looks like outside right now, live from our sky cam looking off toward the southeast. And there's some good news and bad news. You're seeing a little bit of blue out there. Okay, that'll help us melt some of that snow, but with those clearing skies, it's going to get cold overnight. So again, many of the roads are snow packed out there. Let's take a quick look at I-25 through the city. Here's some streaming video and it looks like it's mostly wet and I checked some of the other uh, traffic cams and I-25 for the most part is just wet at this point. Now let's go out there and find out what's going on. Taylor Bishop is out there taking a look at some of the roads and taking a look at uh, what else is going on and we're going to find out what's happening right now. Taylor. Hey Terry, here at Powers and Stetson Hills. Road conditions are improving, but we're seeing a layer of ice taking up about two lanes. So uh, the pace, the traffic pace is going really good, but cars are still sliding. So if you have to get out today, please take extreme caution. Okay, Taylor. And uh on the way in, I came down Powers and I saw at least two cars spun out on the side of the road. So obviously still slick out there in many areas. Now we've seen any snow coming down from the sky, any falling snow, maybe a few flakes along the I-25 corridor and off to the west. Basically the snow part of this storm is gone, but the cold temperatures are hanging around. Let's take a look at some of those temperatures right now. It's 10 in Colorado Springs, 17 in Pueblo, a little warmer as you head off to the south. There are your temperatures out to the east, mostly in the teens. Now the winds aren't all that strong. Here's what we have in the way of wind. Winds very fairly light in most areas, a little stronger in Lamar and Springfield. But when the temperatures are this cold, look what it does to the wind chills. It feels like it's 10 in Colorado Springs, 8 in Pueblo, feels like 9 in La Junta, feels like 2 in Lamar and 3 below in Springfield. So I think that's going to be the big problem overnight tonight, unless you're driving. If you're driving to the southwest part of the state, we still have an advisory and a warning in effect through the evening hours. So this will include your trip up and over Levita Pass through the San Luis Valley and also over Monarch Pass and a little portion of 70. Again, that could be a bit of a problem with uh, falling snow and snow on the ground. Now, again, tonight, the problem is going to be cold temperatures. Clouds will be on the decrease, so it's going to be cold. Wind chills 0 to 10 in Colorado Springs. The temperature itself dropping off to about 10 degrees. And in Pueblo, look at this, going to be even colder. Wind chills much of the evening are going to be below zero. The temperature itself will drop off to around 5 as those clouds decrease overnight. So if you're out on the roads or you're, gonna, you're thinking about going out on the roads, you might want to make sure you've got uh, proper uh, traction on your car. It could be a bit of a problem as you drive on some of those slick roads. And then tonight, it's going to be very cold. If you head out tomorrow morning, uh, dress warmly and dress in layers because it's going to be cold, especially early in the day. But we expect temperatures to warm up tomorrow, and that's more of the good news. We'll be back in about an hour and update you on everything that's going on with our weather and uh, the roads. Until then, we're back to regular programming.